Hi, my name is Rosalie Desmond and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from Australia. Today I'm bringing you the latest in the Christmas Stampathon 2019. This month our theme is to create backgrounds. The Christmas Stampathon is brought to you by four demonstrators from around the world. We have Ruth Trice from the UK, Denise Garrison from the USA, and Ellen Woodbridge and myself from Australia. Every month we bring you a different challenge which has a different theme. The Christmas Stampathon 2019 has a Facebook page where we have people that join along, play for fun, and at the end of the year we draw a couple of prizes at random for people that have been participating. So if this is the first time that you've seen the Christmas Stampathon, feel free to join in. You don't have to play every month, but obviously we would we would really love it if you could. To join the challenge, you'll find a link to the Facebook group below. Today I'm bringing you these cards that a little bit different from from a normal standard card. They open up like this. So instead of cutting Instead of doing the normal cut, I've actually cut the cardstock diagonally just to create a different effect. Now the first thing I've done is I've grabbed a piece of A4 cardstock and I've cut it to 27 centimeters. So I've kept it the standard 21 centimeters. I'm just chopping just a little bit off. Just like that. Okay, once I've got my piece of cardstock cut at 27 centimeters, what I'm going to do is I'm going to score it in half this way and in half this way. So half of 27 is 13 and a half. And then I rotate it 90 degrees, and this way is 21 centimeters, so I score it at 10 and a half. Okay, the next thing I need to do is I need to pop out my blade, pop out my scorer, and then I'll put my blade back in. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I need to get my cutting blade up as high as I can to be able to fit the whole length that I need to cut because what I'm going to be doing is cutting it in a diagonal. So I'm lining up one point here and the other point down the bottom and just simply cutting it. And that gives me scored and cut pieces for two of these cards. And then using my bone folder just using those creases and strengthening the folds. And I'll do that with both pieces. Okay, so now I've got the card bases organized. I'm going to be using I'm going to be using my stamps to make a background, which is the theme of this month's Stampathon. I'm using Highland Heather and Flirty Flamingo and the Star of Light stamp set. And out of this set, I'm using the Swirl and I'm using a few of these other stars to create a background. Okay, this time I'm using Flirty Flamingo for my background. And I don't want it really strong. So I'm going to stamp off just to make it just a little bit lighter. Got to stamp off that time, but that's okay. Okay, 
And while I've got my stamp out, I'm also going to do a design for the insides. Now both the front and the insides of these cards, I'm using Whisper White and it's cut at 9.5 centimetres by 12.5 centimetres. Just be careful, I've got a bit of ink on me, but that's okay. Okay, bringing back the two fronts for my two cards. I'll open up my Highland Heather and stamp some more stars just in some random places wherever you like. And I'm going to bring some smoky slate ink. And now some full strength of the floaty flamingo. And I want a little bit of more smoky slate this time, so I'm bringing in another one of my star images. So while I've got my ink pads out, I'm going to stamp the sentiment which is on the front. If you have a look at this one, I've got a couple of layers. This time I'm using Flirty Flamingo for my biggest square. So out of the square framelits, this has actually been cut out using the biggest one. And the smoky slate has been cut out using the third biggest. So on the smoky slate, I'm going to stamp my sentiment shine. And this time I'm going to see what shine looks like stamped with the Highland Heather. So the dye that I've used is from the Starlight Thinlets. And it's this one just here. So the smaller of the detailed stars. And I'm going to cut out two of those out of some Flirty Flamingo cardstock. Be right back. Okay, so they've been cut out. I'm going to use the Tombow liquid glue and glue them down. Bringing back my trimmer and using the backgrounds that I have, I'm going to line up the background pieces like I did earlier so I can cut them on a diagonal. So I'm lining up the top bit and the bottom bit with the line in the cutting blade. And now I'm simply sticking down the pieces.
and then I pop the centers in as well. And I'm going to pop these up using Stampin' Dimensionals. And grabbing the Tombow Liquid Glue, I make sure that I only glue underneath this part here because I want the card to be, be able to be open. To finish these off, I'm using some clear Wink of Stella brush just to give my star some sparkle and shine and then using some rhinestones is the larger rhinestone and I pop it in the center of my star and there you have it so you can mess around with the colors you can do them however you like a different sort of card fold I'm not exactly sure what it's what it's called I just saw a picture somewhere and decided I liked I liked the angle so I was going to give something a go if you'd like to join us with the Christmas Stampathon this month the request is that you make at least four cards using your stamps to make yourself a lovely little background you could use this fold, you could use any fold, whatever you like. If you've been enjoying my videos, please subscribe below. And until next time, happy crafting.